Welcome back to Cart with Kyle. We got a little different uh, scenario here this time through where we got a little bit extra social distancing, people staying at home. So uh, we decided to have a little chat with a few of our catchers here. I uh, wanted to get to know these three guys, you know, as, uh, as a new guy in the organization and a starting pitcher. Uh, the catcher can be one of the most important guys and, and uh, one of the tools that can kind of get me acclimated. Fellas, how are we doing? Doing good, Kyle. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We have a pretty unique group of you three. You know, we got, you know, Matthew with 14 years, Robbie with nine plus, and Jose with two. Like, how do you guys go about communicating? As soon as you feel like you learned it all or you know it all, then you'll be out of this game. So mm -hmm. always keep that in mind. It's like you're always learning. There's always stuff that um, you can pick up from other guys. I was here for six years. I left for a year, and it seemed like this year everybody's new. Going through the through the staff we have pretty much is a new staff. The only guy I catch in the past is Mike and Leclerc, and pretty much everybody's new. So when I got to a spin train, I was asking Jose, I was asking Jeff, just kind of like what they see from behind the play. Because that view, that mentality, the approach, sometimes we have as a catcher is different uh, seeing from the mound, you know? And Jose, what do you learn from these two guys? Like, I mean, there's, there's a lot of experience here, playoffs, behind the dish. What do you look to, to ask the most questions about? Just watching the way these two guys work. Like, it's it's a big blessing for me because, you know, hopefully down the road, five years, seven years, whatever, ten years from now, I can be those guys, you know, for someone else. So when you guys are working with new pitchers, uh, you know, you alluded to that, all of you, what's the hardest thing to figure out? Is it how to call a game? Is it how to get the set up? What, what's the most challenging thing for you guys? It's, it's literally – like understanding that guy that's on the mound. Um, I mean, knowing what he likes to do, because Gibby, you know, and you other two know just as well, like there's going to be situations out there that you try to prepare for, but you just, you're not going to be able to be prepared for. And knowing how to handle, you know, each individual pitcher in each individual situation that's thrown at you is something that um, I feel like is, is very important um, in, in navigating your way through, through nine innings. We do everything before the game. You prepare, you put the time in the video room, having meetings. And, I mean, you know this better than, than anyone. Sometimes you go out there and you feel like you're a different player. You jump him out and your stuff is not there. Uh, the breaking board is not there. And then it's time to make an adjustment. For me, it's like, quick can I see that? Jose, do you think some of this helped you because you came up with some of these guys in the minor leagues, so you knew some of these guys before you even got here? Yeah, I mean, definitely, like, knowing some of their tendencies. Like, if you were to give, you know, I'm pretty sure it worked for all the rest of us here. Like, if you were to throw us a name, automatically information is going through our head. Like, we'll be like, okay, like, you know, he likes when your glove's down on a slider, he likes for you to set up a little bit away. When he throws his two seam, he wants you to be in the middle. When he throws a fourth team, he doesn't want his glove as high. Like, that, like you name a guy, and we'll literally be thinking that. Like, you know, that's what just going through our head. But that comes with, like, you know, bullpens and games with them. And, you know, like Jeff said, communicating. And what Robbie said, like, getting to know those guys. That just, that just comes with what we do, I guess you would say, just getting to know the personalities. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate all the conversation. And, uh, you know, hopefully the fans will, will be seeing us playing baseball here in the next couple months. But you guys stay safe. Stay healthy and uh, enjoy the time with the family. We'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thanks. Thanks.